Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best DJ controllers. Starting at number 5. Newmark DJ2 Go 2 Touch. For an ultra compact DJ controller weighing only 12 ounces and measuring 12.4 by 3.4 inches, the Newmark DJ2 Go 2 Touch dishes out a surprising amount of controls and functionality. There are many reasons to have such a tiny DJ controller, including the ability to take a mini rig almost anywhere to casually play from either a laptop or an iOS device. But the DJ2 Go 2 Touch can suffice even for more professional mobile DJing or gigs where a larger controller is either impractical or unnecessary. This slim controller connects with an included mini USB to USB cable and both monitor and headphone outputs. Each mini deck includes playback controls, headphone cue controls, level, pitch fader for trigger pads, and a jog wheel. The DJ2 GO 2 Touch jog wheels have been upgraded from the previous DJ2 GO 2 controller to be capacitive on the top to enable both scratching and track nudging from the jog wheel side. There are even four selectable pad modes, cue triggering, auto looping, manual looping, and sample triggering. When used with the included Serato DJ Lite, you can DJ with streaming music from SoundCloud and Tidal. Track library browsing and deck loading round out the DJ2 Go 2 Touch to make it a very attractive option either as a starter DJ controller or an alternate second controller for when small size matters. Coming at number 4. Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus. Pioneer DJ standalone DJ systems like the XDJ RX3 are home setup mainstays in part because you can use the same record box prepared USB sticks from the standalone system on club gear like the CDJ3000. However, the Denon DJ Prime 4 Plus unequivocally packs the most features into its 4-deck frame at similar price to its main competitors, a little over $2,000. On first glance of the Prime 4 Plus, the eye goes immediately to its brilliant 10.1-inch touchscreen which offers gesture control familiar to mobile device users powered by the system's multi-core processing. You can play music files without the use of a laptop thanks to four USB inputs and an SD card slot, as well as a built-in 2.5-inch SATA drive bay, if you add a hard drive slash SSD, taking advantage of onboard song analysis. Or hook it up to a computer loaded with Serato DJ Pro or Virtual DJ software. The Prime 4 Plus also has built-in Wi-Fi and an Ethernet port for accessing music from your personal Dropbox collection or from multiple streaming services, Amazon Music Unlimited, Tidal, SoundCloud Go Plus, Beatport Link, BeatSource Link, and Dropbox, subscriptions required. The multi-view touchscreen can clearly show large scrolling waveforms for all four decks at once either horizontally or vertically, allows fast and easy track browsing and loading, lets you create playlists on the fly and dynamically shows the relevant parameters as you play, such as looping, beat slicing, track roll, and other performance pad modes. At number 3. Native Instruments Tractor. There are many DJ controllers aimed at beginners. But if your goal is to not remain an entry-level entertainer forever, the Native Instruments Tractor Control S23 Malawian Quatches lets you start out with a manageable piece of hardware that semi-pro and pro-level DJs will still use when a gig calls for a relatively small DJ controller. Even better, beginners can start out with the free Tractor DJ2 software, available for Mac, Windows, and iPad, which is very approachable to beginners yet still has the core features you need for credible DJ sets. Tractor DJ2 is also one of the best DJing apps for iPad and the S23 Malawian Quatches includes a dedicated USB port for iDevice connections. When you're ready to graduate from Tractor DJ2, you can step up to Tractor Pro 3, which is included with the S23 Malawian Quatches. Tractor Pro 3 now also has a Pro Plus subscription for added performance features like a drum pattern sequencer but it's not necessary to subscribe to use the main Tractor Pro 3 software. Aside from its manageable size, about 19.1 by 10.4 inches, and flexible software options, the S23 Malawian Quatches puts a decent amount of controls at your fingertips for a small controller. There are 16 total performance pads for triggering saved cue and loop points, multi-purpose touch-sensitive jog wheels for searching waveforms, 
nudging playback, and scratching, and four mixer FX on each deck, filter, reverb, delay, and flanger. It even supports four deck operation in Traktor Pro 3. While the Traktor Control S23 Malawian Quatches treats beginners well, it also gives them room to grow into seasoned DJs. Number 2 of my list. Rain 1 Complete. Among DJ focused brands, Rain has carved out a niche as one of the most trusted and beloved names that concentrate on the needs of scratch DJs. The company makes some of the best scratch DJ mixers, such as the 72 MKII, and now it has laid claim to some of the best DJ controllers for scratching. While you can scratch with most DJ controllers with jog wheels, dedicated scratch DJs most often prefer to use vinyl turntables to scratch, because that's where they have the most control and the best feel to practice their art form. However, with the Rain 1, scratch DJs don't have to sacrifice much to use a DJ controller. It provides the feel of two turntables with a scratch mixer along with conveniences like a dedicated loop section, track browsing and loading, and eight multifunction performance pads on each deck. The two motorized 7-inch turntable platters have the feel of real vinyl, including vinyl brake speed adjustment, and the buttery smooth, professional scratch DJ mag for crossfader equals those of high-end scratch mixers, including tension and contour adjustment. Rain 1's mixer section has six FX buttons for calling up effects combinations within the DJ software, and the aluminum FX paddles give scratch DJs the effects control they crave, the ability to lock the effects on or to momentarily toggle the effects on with the paddle down. For the pure feel of a full-size turntable in a DJ controller, Rain also makes the 12 MKII, which works like a full-size, vertically oriented, 12-inch motorized turntable controller for DVS-enabled Serato DJ Pro, Traktor, and Virtual DJ. However, for scratch DJs who want the best of both the DJ controller and vinyl manipulation worlds in a single unit that, at about 27 by 14 inches, is much smaller than two turntables and a mixer, nothing beats the Rain 1. And number 1. Pioneer DJ DDJ-800. The Pioneer DJ DDJ-800 recreates the layout and features of Pioneer DJ's professional club standard CDJ and XS2 media players and DJM mixers, but in a single unit for controlling the company's Recordbox software. It also unlocks a performance-ready version of Recordbox so that you don't have to pay for a subscription to the software, unless you want to unlock extra features like the DVS, Digital Vinyl System, Plus Pack, or other subscription levels for music library cloud storage and syncing. The DDJ-800 gives you basically everything from the popular 4-channel DDJ-1000 except in a smaller, 2-channel version that weighs about 1.3 kilograms less and costs about $400 less. Color LCD displays in the center of the jog wheels help you see the essential track information without staring at the computer screen, and you can customize them to show what you want to see including BPM, Q and loop points, and the waveform with playback position. Another small display dedicated to the popular BFX from Pioneer's DJM mixers shows the settings. If you scratch while DJing, the jog wheel's resistance is also adjustable to your preference. The DDJ-800's mixer has two stereo phono slash line audio inputs, so you can use the controller's channel faders, trims, and EQs for external turntables and media players as well as using Recordbox's effects on the external sources. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.